On the home screen, click the presentation icon. In the insert dialog, go to the project folder and double click the old uncoupling file. Before creating an exploded view, you need to take a look at the storyboard displayed at the bottom of the window. The storyboard has the scratch zone area located at the left side of the timeline. Also, notice that the play marker is displayed at 0 seconds in the timeline. Click in the scratch zone area and notice that the play marker is displayed inside it. Click the tweak components. Select component. On the mini toolbar, select world. Select the flange subassembly from the graphics window. Click the Z-axis and type 4 in the Z-box. Click OK on the mini toolbar. Repeat the same process for the other flange subassembly. Click the tweak components. Select the front cylinder. On the mini toolbar, select part. Click the Z-axis and type 4 in the Z-box. Click OK on the mini toolbar. Likewise, explode the parts of the flange subassembly in the opposite direction. The explosion distances are same. To play an animation of the explosion, click the Play Current Storyboard button. Click the Reverse Play Current Storyboard button. Make sure that the play marker is at 0 seconds on the timeline. You can publish the animation video using the video tool available on the publish panel. Leave the other default settings and click OK, the publish video progress dialog appears. A message box appears that the video has been published. Click OK in the message box. Click and drag the play marker on the timeline to 12 seconds. You can capture the snapshot of the current position of the assembly using the new snapshot view tool. Click raster. Click OK to save current view as image. To save presentation, go to file, then click save option. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos.